Today I'm going to test if the GoPro 10 uh, is good with wind resistance and some noise on the side. So welcome back to Our Shell. My name is Jin. We are on the road to the Kingdom, Cambodia in January. We fly. It's starting to feel real and me and Isa cannot wait. So make sure you become a tell, like and subscribe. I am aiming to make real down-to-earth humbling content whether that's around mental health whether that's around poverty part of me but what I need to be able to do is create a channel that takes you me and hopefully the mentality of everyone away from this luxurious materialistic mindset what we waste on goods and cars and fashion is really really silly in my eyes when there's people suffering at a low level so join me so today i thought i would go over some things that i've learned living in poland i've been here now for five weeks we're here for five more months so i'll probably do a video at the end of this so right now we're not living in the major cities we're not in krakow we're not in warsaw Rzeszów any of these places, if you are Polish, Dzień Dobre, Jejks de Mesh, Poplosza, Daimi, Kaba, Dzień Kuyo, Dwa, Sukir. So, number one on the list of things that I've learned living in Poland is that Polish people are social, they are very social people. But for some reason, there's an opposite end of the spectrum. Nobody looks at each other when you're walking down a street. Nobody says hello. And I've been testing this. When I go on walks, when I go and see something new, I'll always say to someone I'm walking by, Jen Doble or Chesh. Normally the older people will respond to it. On top of this, and this is only a personal thing, this isn't general in Poland, is there seems to be a weird stigma that used to be in the UK 50 years ago. <clears throat> this lads mentality, this sort of territory wannabe gangster bad man thing that even myself now have been threatened due to being a ginger Brit. Why am I here? What are you trying to do here? You're in our territory. Very sad, very sad. But never fear it deal with it properly, have self-control when you're dealing with any dramas like that. By the way, biscuits and coffee, my favourite. Number two on things I've learned whilst being here in Poland. Now coming from the UK, earning pounds, saved enough pounds that is in my account that I can do some work here, teaching, helping out where I can, Ukrainian wars happening. So for me, the economy here, things are nice and cheap. One pound is 1.5, one pound is 5.5 zwarte. So for me right now it's good, but when it comes to earning money for my teaching, I'm charging 50 zwarte, that's 10 pounds an hour. Although this is good for me, shamefully for many, many families in Poland, you're, you cannot move out of your home. You end up living with your family until they pass on. It's a hand-me-down system here. Work itself, people are having to work two or three jobs. It's, it's really sad. But it's also humbling. You see grandmas, uh, for me, and Lisa's grandma, Pacha Anya, a very, very sweet woman. And every time I come over, shamefully, we can't have a conversation due to my lack of Polski. But she'll always come in and offer a coffee. She's bringing biscuits. Very traditional grandma-ish. Number three that I've realized, and this is only from personal experience, don't judge me. 
There's a massive difference between men and women here compared to England, compared to America. Men over 30, I find are quite unhealthy, they drink alcohol and are quite separated from their families. Again, this is a generalization. I've met some amazing uh, Polish men who are doing well, really compassionate to his family. I've seen, uh, I've heard and I've sat down with women, uh, young girls who their fathers aren't around and due to being alcoholics and so on. So it's very weird, it's a very weird system here. On top of that, speaking to this one girl, I won't name, uh, a nice sweet girl, she was saying how men that grow up without a father figure end up being a nicer, more compassionate, more open man than those that do grow up with dads at this time in Poland. And it's really sad to hear, and I'm sure it'll move on over years, but it's sad to hear it first. Number four, in the things that I've learned here whilst being in Poland for the month, is Poland is a heavy Catholic led and very religiously dominant, I'm gonna say. In the town that I am right now, which isn't a major town, this is somewhere the tourists don't go. You don't see many gingers here. I'm a rare breed here. But there are five massive churches, really big. Um, and again, like there's these public holidays, very religious based. And from what I've spoken to students, they take away other religious studies. They're their books, their education system is extremely outdated. Which, as a personal opinion, is a way of trying to keep people in the country. Don't go and look in other countries. Don't go and look at the other opportunities that the world has for you. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's nice. Point number five that I've realized in Poland the other day, Marta drove us to this amazing nature park. I've lived across Britain. I've traveled a little bit. This woodland park was amazing. The mountains, the cliffs up. It was, oh, I need to go back. I keep telling Isa, is there any closer? Like, can we go again? Like, I need to go. I love that bit of nature. So for that reason, it, I'd love to, over the next five months, I need to go and see more of these sort of things here in Poland. The sixth point that I've learned whilst being here in Poland is I'm near the Ukrainian border. Poland itself, as of months ago, probably more now, has taken in over 80,000 Ukrainian refugees. This town being one of the key stopping points for them to pass through, gather themselves, get some help, get some guidance, and then move on somewhere more permanent or sustainable. Myself now hunting for some of the refugees to be able to give my own aid. But it's definitely an interesting little town. Number seven of the things I've learned whilst being here in Poland is you Polakas and Polacks have a, a really annoying system where you're only allowed to cross the road when the green man is shown. There's no jaywalking. It's about 500 pound fine if you do jaywalk. And problem is the light is the light where I am right now. They're not the most reliable. I could be stood there for what feels like 10 minutes with no cars going by. So that, that sucks. That's another point to keep an eye out and how learn that mental patience. The next point. The next thing is that I use fitness and health, physical activities to help my mental health. Someone who suffered with and suffers with depression, I know the need for it. Joining a gym here for me was a new experience. Not being able to talk to anyone, not being able to talk to the receptionist. 
ask for anything was a challenge that's forcing me to learn Polish. But the point I'm trying to make is everyone here in Poland that goes to a gym, male, female, elderly, young, groups of lads, groups of girls, will come up and say hello to you. With some of them trying to have a little conversation, trying to check in and see how you are. This is a rare thing, especially in the UK and I'm sure in America the people are disconnected so it almost seems like polish people here in public out and about it's very hard to have conversations and get into social groups in a closed setting the other day i went to a sound therapy thing that people wanted to come and have a conversation go into the gym people want to say hello and just be polite and be human that means a lot. That means a lot for me and I'm sure for new people going to the gym. The last point I want to make on things that I've learned since being in Poland is the food. You're not going to go to a supermarket and find some oven ready food. You're not going to find stuff that is processed and full of sugars. You can taste the healthier contents of the food here. Myself now being forced to cook fresh chicken has been a game changer especially for me who's trying to get fit and healthy before we go to Cambodia on top of that due to the low cost of things here for myself for Polish people living I understand it's a struggle and that does suck but for myself it means that I can focus on diet a bit more going out and having a coffee for £1.20 is a nice experience now it makes your mental health and your physical health feel a lot better. By the way, I do apologize, I've just been gym. I'm extremely tired. So even speaking the English is hard work. So thank you for watching. Make sure you have liked and subscribed. I'm trying to add my YouTube game. <laughs> but um, yeah, come out your shell guys. Go and do something different. Don't live a routine life. It's not good for you. Much love, take care, bye. Yeah.